Here I'm going to show you a practical example of using an if statement in PHP and the strlint function to assess whether a credit card number that's entered by a user is actually valid or not. That is, whether it's got 16 different numbers in it. I'm going to have two different PHP files, credit card form, and that's going to pass over to credit card results. This is the credit card form page, first of all. The first thing I'm going to do is actually create my form element. And the form element, the form star tag is going to have two different attributes. Action is first of all going to pass over to credit card results. And the method attribute is going to be post. So that's the form element. Uh, inside that form element, I'm going to put in a label. And I'm going to put in an input type or input tag. Type, you might expect that I put in text box here, but I'm actually going to put in a number box. And the number box that comes with HTML5 yeah, it's very good for this type of application because it's going to validate and make sure that the user is only able to enter in numbers in that box and not able to enter in alphabetical characters. The other attribute that I need in this input tag is the name attribute. I have to label the value that the user puts in. I'm going to call it ccnum. So that's my input tag. To allow the user to submit this form, I need a submit button. And I'll just put in a value attribute as well just to change the actual text on the button. So that's my form page. I'm going to save that. Let's take a look at that. And, and like I said, it's only going to allow you to enter in numbers. I'm trying to type in uh, alphabetical characters here. It's not letting me. I'll go back and just start on the results page then. So this is my results page. Straight away, I'm going to go into a PHP code block. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get the value out of the post array. So where I find that, that is in this post array with the label that I put on the name attribute back in the HTML form. So I have to make sure that they match. And so whatever the user put into that form is now in $cc $num variable. And, and I can use the strlint function to check uh, what the length is of that number that the user put in. So I'll pass in $cc $num and assign whatever gets returned from strln there. And then finally, I just need to check that using an if statement. So if $cclen is equal to 16, then I know it's a number, and I know it's 16 characters long, so I can actually echo out. Otherwise, if that's not true, then I can say like so. Just be aware, make sure that when you're doing this condition, and asking PHP to assess or evaluate that condition, make sure that we use the double equals there. That is the comparison operator checking if both sides are equal. If it's just a single equals that you use, that's actually an assignment operator. It won't throw an error. It will just always mean that constantly be getting this positive branch uh, being executed. So let's save that and let's see if it works. And I'll go back into my browser. And at the moment, again, please enter your credit card number. That's invalid. And let's check to see. Uh, there's 13 numbers there at the moment. If I put in three more numbers and check, that is a valid credit card number. And if I put one more uh, for 17 numbers, it goes invalid again. So that's an applied example of using an if-else structure and strlen to assess whether a number entered by a user is actually a valid credit card number or not.